Hey guys, Josh here from Dry Fitness. I'm here to talk to you today about a question I get asked quite regularly by all my clients. When and why should I be stretching? Stretching is just a smaller part of overall mobility. Um, mobility includes things like pressure point release and foam rolling. Um, but today we're going to talk about a couple of different types of stretches uh, that you can do on your own and without any equipment. So first up, we've got dynamic and ballistic stretches. So the idea behind these is to warm up your muscles, obviously, uh, but also get synovial fluid through your joints and also get the connective tissues and your ligaments warmed up ready for exercise. Next up, we have static stretches. So like the name implies, it's a long, steady hold designed to get the blood flow into those muscles you've just used. And the idea behind that is to try and uh, improve your recovery after exercise. Finally, when should you stretch? So before and after exercise is absolutely important. So your dynamic and ballistic stretches you would do before to get yourself ready for your exercise. Static stretches after to try and help you with recovery. However, both of these are also designed to reduce your risk of injury while you're exercising. The other one you can do is more static stretches the days following. So if you're feeling quite tight or sore after your exercise, the day or day, a couple of days after, Static stretches are really good to help you with recovery. Once again, trying to get that blood flow and open up those muscles as much as possible. Stretching plays a part in our overall mobility in the body. However, it also has a major impact on injury prevention, but also enhancing performance and also day-to-day -day life. If you have any questions at all, feel free to get in touch with us at Dry Fitness and we'll be able to help you out.